Last week, I showed you a video about me living with things from the Mario universe, and I have some bad news. That video was fake. But the good news is I'm going to explain how I did each scene, so if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out and then come back here and you can see how I did it. The first step was to act out the scene as if it was actually happening. Next, the way I grabbed Spike is to use Adobe After Effects and the Roto Brush tool. This tool smartly draws around objects frame by frame and everything within the pink is able to be extracted so I can do what I want with it. Once I got the full animation of Spike holding the ball and throwing it, I exported to Premiere Pro for some further tweaks. Then I lined up the animation so the ball passes by as my head turns. Then I added a crop, so that once the ball got to a specific part of the screen, it would start to be more and more hidden, to give the appearance of going through the wall. After that I googled images of hole in a wall, and found a good enough looking one, I cut around the edges and placed it in the scene and added a perspective tool to stretch it to appear like it's flush with the wall, and I positioned it along a timeline so that it appears when the ball first starts to enter the wall. Then I searched YouTube for some green screen footage of pieces collapsing, and I applied the same perspective tool to it so that it looks like pieces were falling from the hole as the ball entered. The last thing was to add a screen shake, which is just rotating the frame in both directions back and forth a few times, and you have the final product. For the final version of the conveyor scene, note how high up I am that my foot isn't actually touching the ground. I could have done this with a big enough green screen, but I don't have one, so I started with footage of running on the actual ground, then used the roto brush tool to draw around myself each frame. Once I had myself cut out, I was able to place it over an image of the actual scene and place it up higher since I needed elevation for the conveyor. I could have just recorded the scene like this, but I wanted it to appear like I was actually running on top of something. But I don't own any kind of large enough platform this tall that could support me running in place on it. So I raised my body up from the starting point, then I got conveyor footage from going into Mario Maker 2 Editor and New Super Mario Bros. Sky theme, and a bunch of green semi-solids to make them a solid green color. Then I was able to place the conveyor where the actual ground was. Now to explain the falling effect. First, I recorded myself reacting as if I had just hit the wall. Then I got this footage and cropped out the image of just me, animated a rotation downward, and once that image hit the ground, I switched it with a screenshot of myself from when I hit the wall, and added motion to go towards the wall. Then added the wall hitting clip and a screen shake, and there you go. First, I recorded myself throwing boxes as if the claws were actually there. Then I had Mario throw a POW into it since the POW is the same shape as the boxes I was using. Once this was done, I used After Effects motion tracking feature to perfectly follow the POW block as it swayed back and forth in the claw. Once it tracks, I'm able to place anything in to follow the same path so I added in images of the two boxes and saved them both separately. Once I had these two done, I removed the green and get a perfectly swinging video of the claw with the boxes. Then it was just a matter of cropping out the left and right side as soon as each box catches, so you're seeing an image of the left and right background with the claw footage playing over it. This was the easiest to do, I just used the green screen method for a mole coming out of the ground and running across the screen. Then I acted out the scene as if it was actually happening. And I put the two together and added in a little black hole image once the mole comes out and there you go. For this scene, first I acted out swinging a broom at an imaginary bee and after the last swipe running away. Then I use the After Effects Roto Brush to draw around a sting bee that's moving back and forth. And also separately, I Roto Brush footage of a sting bee attacking. Then I just lined up each piece of footage to respond to my broom swing and added some extra motion to make it move faster. And copied about five extra bees and had similar motion with those. In 
In this scene, first I acted out the part that you see and pretended the twister was about to pick me up. Then I grabbed footage of twister with the green screen method from before and overlapped it on the real footage. Then when it got under me, I took a screenshot of myself in that position, cut it out, and swapped the video footage with a still image of this area without me standing there and animated the image of me swaying up and down and rotating. For this scene, first I pretended to roll out the bumper, step back and jumped as if it was actually there, along with also pretending to bounce upward. Then I grabbed my ladder from around the corner, got up on the roof, and did a little mini jump to act as if I had just landed from the bounce. Next I got footage of the bumper with the green screen method and gave it a bouncing animation to happen right as I'm in this position. Then I grabbed a screenshot of myself pretending to launch up, cut it out, and placed it onto the next frame and added motion upwards. I removed the ladder and my actual self by overlaying a screenshot of the bottom half of the scene. Right when the jump starts, then I just synced up the jump and landing to look as close to realistic as I could. First, I recorded myself walking out and reacting as if I stepped on the snake. Then I captured the snake block movement using the green screen method. You may have noticed that my foot overlaps the snake block. This was done by using the roto brush on just my foot on this piece of footage and exporting it separately as a separate video file. Then I put that footage over the top of the snake block footage and there you go. First, I recorded myself reacting as if I was just seeing these ants. Then I wrote a brushed one ant as it moved along the screen, and it was just a matter of duplicating that same ant footage a whole bunch of times in different places, and there you go. First, I acted out as if everything was actually happening. Then I got footage of Yoshi bursting from a shell and also of him running back and forth. I couldn't use a green screen since Yoshi is green, so I used yellow instead. There is a tiny bit of yellow on Yoshi, but for this scene it was so small that you wouldn't be able to see if it had disappeared. Then I just lined up each piece of footage, and in this last part where I grab him, you see my hand overlaps his body since I'm grabbing him. And this was done the same way I did the snake block foot overlap. I roto brushed my hand as a separate piece of footage and overlapped that on top of the Yoshi footage so that it looked like I grabbed him. Without doing this, the grab part would look a little bit weird. So for the last scene, uh, what I did was I roto Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, so this is actually uh, behind the scenes of the behind the scenes video. As you can see here, I'm editing. I have all my clips here of how I did everything everything you've seen already, and uh, speaking into the little microphone, uh, that's how I record. This cheap little thing I bought like five years ago still works decent enough. And uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, hope, you got, hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. For my last scene here, I first roto brushed to grab the bully standing still and also charging. Then I animated in a rolling bumper image so they both moved together. When I got to the frame where my kick touched the bumper, I got a screenshot, cut myself out, then overlapped that image of me in the shot. Then I used a screenshot of this scene without me and added the image of myself kicking and added fast motion sideways and also a crop so that it looked like I was flying behind this part of the wall. The final part was to add in a screen shake and the same footage of the debris falling that I added from the spike scene and I added motion and rotation so that it looks like the pieces are flying to the left and then landing. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.